Cartoonist Scott Adams recently responded to a Rasmussen poll asking the question, is it okay to be white? He goes on a tirade explaining that black Americans are a hate group. Let's listen. Nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll. Not according to me. According to this poll. Uh, That's a hate group. That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the f*** away. Wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. All right, this can't. Now, as a person who has been interested in the progress of African people in America, as well as African people around the world, I was shocked to hear this. Because as any activist or socially conscious black leader knows, African people love white people. African Americans, black Americans, continental Africans, people in the Caribbean, they seem to love white people. And white people really know it. How do we know black people love white people? Because we follow them and we are in America almost completely socially engineered. Our behavior is socially engineered by white people. Whatever values white people are pushing, whatever direction white folks are pushing, black people tend to embrace wholeheartedly. We have to remember that since the 1960s in America, especially, there has been integration and assimilation as almost a national policy for black people. Whatever insanity or depravity depravity comes out of the white community, blacks people quickly embrace and support. If Blacks are angry about anything in America, it's because they don't get more inclusion and more acceptance from whites. In America, it's like Black people don't even want to be Black anymore. So advocacy for Black people is extremely difficult. In America, Blacks don't actually think for themselves. For the most part, we follow and lockstep every direction given to us by those who socially engineer us in America. So... If blacks appear to hate white people, it is only because certain whites have given them permission to act this way. Take, for example, the Black Lives Matter movement that was very popular during 2020 in the United States. Many of the rallies were overwhelmingly dominated by so-called white allies. Many of these white allies realized that blacks are not really, as a group, a people who see themselves as having agency over themselves. They see Blacks as wards of the American state. Blacks are the least self-directed group in this country. So getting back to the poll, let's think about why somebody would make such a racist poll. The results of the Rasmussen Reports poll said that 53% of Black Americans felt that whites, it was okay to be white. 26% said it was not okay to be white. And 21% said that they weren't sure. White people who are upset with the fact that the liberals and the Democrats control blacks want to change the scenario by race baiting some whites into unifying with the conservative or the Republican cause. So skillfully, Scott Adams says, stay away from them. Don't go near them. They're a hate group. What Scott Adams is really upset about is the fact that Democrats and liberals have taken so much control of black people and used them to bind the Republicans and the conservatives that he wants to win some white people back to that side by using an old tactic of fear of black people and the idea that black people hate them. This is dangerous rhetoric, but I also want to caution black people who believe in hustling white guilt. Eventually, people get tired of feeling guilty, and eventually that guilt may turn to rage by the source of what's making them guilty, feel guilty. So be very careful if you're really delighting in the idea that white people feel so guilty that they are attacking themselves. Instead, we should be focusing on operating 
in our own interest in trying to solve the problems amongst ourselves, the problems that exist in our community. I want you to consider if you are a person that mindlessly votes for one political party, and you know the one I'm talking about, I want you to consider the fact that in the last election, black people gave the country a Democratic president. There was also a majority of Democrats who control the Congress in the Senate and in the House of Representatives. So what happened to reparations? I think it's very interesting that I can show you a video. Well, let me show you the video where they all said that they would consider reparations. Elected president, I will sign that bill. <laughs> but as soon as they got elected, what did they do for you? Not a damn thing. The fact of the matter is that we have always been used as a political football. And now some people want to try to rally white people by telling them that black people hate them and we're a hate group. And others want to run the same old game that the other party is a racist boogeyman. We need to wake up. There is no political solution for black people that exists outside of themselves. We should have the politics of black nationalism, owning and controlling and building our own community. And that begins with building strong relationships between each other and strong families. But don't be fooled. Blacks don't hate white people, not by a long shot. We follow white people. And the sad part about it is we're following them right to our destruction. I'm Brother CC Blackman. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.